So I'm kind of recovering from my birthday. <laughs> I took a little time. I need a little time. So um, pretty much I've tried to rearrange what I'm going to do with the channel. I've been using this deck. Okay. Um, <laughs> some of you could be having an awakening or had an awakening. Okay. Uh, awakening to your own truths or some kind of foundation to the homing or something. Or foundation that's being built that started on. Something like that. Okay. Um, but I do really like this deck. Because um, this is not always a bad card, this is a good card, you know, this is growth, if you look at the tree there, it's the tree of ascension, so it's like um, the apple, um, so I would relate that pretty much to um, Adam and Eve, so something pure, something honest, something that grows, you know, it's also ascension, there's a snake that kind of travels through that, which is the root of all evil that grows, starts from below, so so above, so below, okay, it's pretty much, can also relate to Scorpio. But so above, so below, the tree of ascension starts off as evil, grows up, okay, fresh, and then we somehow we kind of chop the tree down and we make money from it, and then we, <laughs> and then people are going to want it, and then when they really want it, they actually go out and buy a packet of seeds and they plant another to grow another tree, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but that's a, that's a really good card, you know, that is because that that awakens us to the path that we're supposed to be on. So start rebuilding something new with someone or some kind of new structure of yourself or a beginning of self because this is what it talks off it's a seven you know so you become in alignment with where you're supposed to be you know that's what gives us awakenings and we start to have headaches and things because it puts us on our path our spiritual path it makes a connection that we can form with people where you can have start to have metaphysical connections and things like that because you did have that coming up a lot through your march okay um, but that puts us in alignment. It takes the bad away and it puts the good in front of us. All that kind of stuff, you know. It can it can relate to so many things that because it aligns you with where you're supposed to be. Seven, you know, it aligns you with your chakras. The seven days of the week, it pulls you together, pulls you, gives you a slap, and puts you together where you're supposed to be. And it gives you awakening to the truth of thinking, ah, oh, okay, this is where I really am. This is where I really want to be. You know, decisions, awakenings, expansion of mind. And then you broaden your spectrum, you broaden your life, you broaden your life skills. You know, you make connections and it forms that spark. And then that's kind of what happens in life. That's the spark. <laughs> Tower. Okay. So, well, that's one kind that I wasn't even thinking. But I'm going to do a section called Random Reads through March. Uh, but I need to get on with the last half of March so I don't fall behind. So we're going to go back to the... Um, it's a brand new deck, but it's gone, still gone back to the old, um, <coughs> to the old right away. Um, but you did have the King of Cups flying out through your, um, through when I was shuffling. But let's see. So uh, Aries, thank you all so much for the birthday wishes and everything from from everyone. There is a little kind of thank you kind of message that I have done. But let's see. Aries for the last half of March. Aries. So you've got the magician, there you go. So manifesting something new, so above, so below, there you go. Right in front of you, awakening, right in front of you, is what I'm picking up, right in front of your eyes. Um, so this is um, what I was saying about eight and seven. Um, this is, can also mean your own energy, Aries, but it's every element. It's keeping things under control within your house, finances, career, running your own clock. And this is the first card out, so this is really important. So. You could be guides, you could be tarot card readers, you know, it's alignment with someone else that also does that probably, a spark of interest. It's um, connections that we can have metaphysically, physically. It depends on your thought process of what manifests after a period of time through a spark. Um, this is also sorting out finances and career. Um, trying to manifest something into reality, okay, it takes a little time. This is probably why I picked up on the song, I need a little time. So after time, time after time, it could be through the past that you've just experienced so much time after time that things need to release and drop, which is why it could have related to also kind of the tower. So things needed release in order for things to grow for ascension. So something else has been karmically released and then it starts to grow. So you form, again, also sparks and things or a bright spark idea of like, wow, fucking light bulb moment. I could do this, you know, bosh. Oh, I could do this. We could do that. We can, you know, that's, that's the magician. You start to manifest literally something into reality through connections that we have with ourselves, you know. Wow, that's one card straight out. So you have fire sign energy, the queen of wands. You also have the wheel of fortune coming out, which is destiny. 
So the Queen of Wands is either Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or it's not a star sign, um, it's just someone also, again, that's good with ascension, the Akashic Records, great connection with themselves, the occult, you know, wisdom, soul growth, they run their own clock. <laughs> you know, the Queens of the deck, they receive the downloads of the information, they give it over to the King, you know. So it's the receiver. So someone, so you need a quality of give and take. So these two cards together are extremely powerful, you know, because this this energy receives all the information through the crown chakra here, okay, through the crown chakra, and then actually feeds the information to kings. So you can also, which is also relates to feminine and masculine, the magician and the queen of wands. Sun, wow, very, very good reading. <laughs> the sun, so it can have a lot to do with children, soul growth, wisdom, putting yourself on your path of where you're supposed to be, really finding energy, energy, connecting with energy, connection of energy. Um, can also mean Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but it, it it's not a star sign. It's just growth, expansion of career. Um, expansion of spiritual belief, awakening. That's why I had the awakening, and so I happened to pick that card up. You know, everything happens for a reason. It puts you on your path, on there for a reason. It aligns you with where you're supposed to be. Things, trust me, connections with people or things or whatever it is, jobs. Every, nothing happens just out of chance. It happens because it happens. If it happened, if it's already happened, it's because it's supposed to happen. That's why. There's no undoing what's already been done. So it also relates to karma. You can't run from karma because it catches up up to you, you know. So you have to deal with karma, but once you've dealt with things, you know, this is when these kind of energies start to turn up. I'm not saying that you haven't dealt with things, but when you do, this is when connections of, of extreme positivity start to manifest into reality, you know, because this is the this is like a sun cycle, a sun and moon cycle. So you we also have Pisces retrograde, okay? Um, but this is kind of like what ma what is what has manifested. This is what I'm picking up. This is what's manifested after a period of time through going through much struggle in every kind of sense. Okay, for what we said through awakening from the past year, and I'm going cold. My bullshit detector is flying, flying high, flying high. What was that Jim Morrison song, right? Bird of prey, bird of prey. Flying high, flying high, in the summer sky. Wow, I'm going cold. So, in the summer sky, um, so you could be flying high, like a higher than life of um, some kind of connection. So this is telling me, getting back to what I was doing before I was trying to sing, um, that this is something that's manifested into positivity because of going through so much control at its lowest vibration, and you did have that, I think, in the first half, didn't you, I think? Some kind of control. Because of like learning now, probably finding a guide or teacher or something, or you are yourselves or something, okay? You've, you've took on a lot of lessons and you're understood and you're now listening. You're now listening, which is really good. So, that means that you are now learning something and that you are dropped control and you're understanding more about blame and all that kind of thing, okay? That we can't blame energy, we can't, because it's sometimes just felt, so it winds us up, okay? Wind it up! <laughs> wow, he died out of prodigy as well, didn't he, Keith? Um, yeah, sorry. Um, but someone, so it could be the fact that you've realized that people can't wind you up, you can't wind them up, okay? I'm trying to go back to your old reading. Um, in my head, um, but yeah, that's kind of like dropping control from the past, awakening, dropping control, understanding a lot of things, finding alignment with someone, yourself, or something like that, and then this is complete spiritual growth. Three cards, the Magician, the Queen of Wands, and the Sun, could have something to do with children. Wow. 
Wow, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Your wish has been granted. Someone could be a genie. <laughs> Someone could be a genie. This is manifested. So what's manifested is is wish fulfillment. You know, hopefully this is not kind of greed because this can it doesn't always have to mean that. This is just um a nine, so it's like a cry for help, but it's also like um nine um it's also wish fulfillment, but it can also part of the seven deadly sins, you know, because it's nine, it's a cry for help. Um if it relates to greed, but it doesn't always have to be this card, you know. Because this is kind of like all my cups are filled up and I'm just kind of one more step away from actual pure happiness of 10. Okay, of 10. Um, so let's see. Every summer rising of the ends. But these cards together are great. So you've got an ending. Great, there you go. So that's, the burden's dropped. The burden's been dropped. So that's a new beginning. A new beginning. So that can relate to what, what things that happened in the past. You're realising that things are not so much of a struggle now. Or it can just mean things financially or stuff at home. Because I'm picking up the home in the back there. Houses and stuff. Uh, now that you can't quite see where it is that you want to go. But you're, you're kind of feeling as an energy that you want to go somewhere. But it could still be just like a, a bit of a burden in order to carry it. But you're heading something, something towards wanting to go somewhere different. Because this, all this is the karma that's carried on your back. So you have a free will choice. This is free will. Okay. Free will, free will. Free will choice to continue on the path that you're on. Or a free will choice to make different choices. Okay. Where things become more in alignment. What we had. Through you and, and things. Okay. Um, that you now become in alignment through dropping burdens. And that you have free will choices in order to make a brand new start. A brand new start can mean anything to do with Trump picking up travel because he's kind of like do you know what I mean he can't see where he's going but he has a destinational path in front of him where he kind of feels that he wants to go so he's, go he's going in that direction fearlessly but also because of the tower that's dropped the burden from the past so that's learning to release learning to release learning to release and let go You know, these these cards, in their highest vibration, they're great. And in the lowest vibration, there you go. Something across travel, across the sea, across country, across the town, across someone over the street, someone on the other side of the world, okay? And this is completion, 10, okay? And then this is a completion. So this is all, all fixed signs also, Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Leo, Scorpio. Um, in someone's chart, um, but this is um, completing, completing a world cycle. This is great. This is understanding a lot, awakening, awakening to the truth, dropping burdens, completion. You've definitely completed something. Nine is a completion. Nine. So you've completed something, and now it's aligned you with another nine, where you are now kind of like finding um, um, alignment of wish fulfillment. Because it's it's you've completed something, you've manifested something into yes, thank you, you've manifested something into wish fulfillment through ending the karmic cycle, so you've learned something. So now wish is granted. We're now put you on where you need to be, aligned seven, awakening to the truth of where you should be. <coughs> so you've got water signs. Um, well, you've got every element because you've got the magician. You've got something to do with mother. So there you go. Something to do with mothering. So this is like uh, a commitment, basically. This is like um, somebody that wants something that's grounded and stable. Something to do with because of children. Finding um, uh, this is like a committed partner, Queen of Pentacles. It's someone that um, wants to be pregnant, is pregnant, can be pregnant, or as a masculine, feminine, just someone that is feminine, that is caring and nurturing. Or it can mean an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You've got well, you've got the cards coming up before. I had to take them. So you've got Pisces, you've got Gemini, and you've got your own card as well, which I think was here somewhere. I think in March, wasn't it? 
Um, so yeah, this is it, this can be a delay within. This can mean communication also, texting, emailing, all that kind of stuff. Okay, which is also relates to Saturn, which is uh, destiny, which is the wheel of fortune. Same kind of thing. The world, the world travel. Um, things can be delayed because of probably Mercury retrograde, but this is also Pisces, so someone sacrificed something as like a sacrifice and then wish fulfillment could be with a Pisces, water sign or earth sign or another Aries or a Gemini. This is like um, also like love, a lot of love, because you've got the nine of cups also, but this is um, happiness is a choice. So someone's chose to drop a burden and manifest something new into reality. And this is what comes back down after you walk away from your past. So you walk away, nine of cups walks away and it goes to seek wisdom. Okay. And then it manifests something what it wishes, which is like um, Aquarius. Okay. And then it comes back down in the form of choice of Gemini. Okay. It comes back down as like, I can align myself with something that's more fulfilling and happy. So you manifest. Thank you. So it's manifested because of dropping and releasing it's manifested something into reality and that's where you have decision and option of love of aligning yourself with it's like the two of cups pretty much it's like the physical it's like yeah so the two of cups is more like a metaphysical spark of something new okay it's not like the six of cups it's like the two of cups okay i think you also had that and then what it does is it the two of cups manifests the spark into this card pretty much but then you've also got Aries, which is um, also someone that runs their own clock like you did have before. Someone that does the same kind of thing. Esoteric wisdom, uh, owns their own businesses, uh, across worldwide kind of stuff, deals with internet travel, internet things, anything on a mundane level that can do with communication or travel. Um, also psychic travel, um, connection between the two here. So you've got a CEO leader, CEO leader kind of entrepreneurial kind of like wanting to expand broadly within your mind, within your creative field, within work, you know. This is a great reading, Aries. I want to be an Aries. <laughs> so you've got the Three of Swords. So that can mean, um, that can mean something from the part from the past. Um, this is also like decision, making decision. Wow, and then you've got complete happiness. So this doesn't fit. So the reason why it doesn't fit is because it's pick I'm picking up that um, this is just um, something that's kind of, you've come out of that now. You've come out of the the thought and belief of being hurt because it's it's surrounded by such good energy, you know. Um, if you was dealing with someone in the in your past that could have had like with children okay with children or a leo or earth sign in their chart or something okay that's you coming out of this now that's you coming out of like release sacrificing wish fulfillment alignment and you're not now feeling this three of swords anymore because then next to it is marriage commitment 11 11 your alignment here here again there you go alignment the tower the nine, you've got the hangman, Pisces, but then you've got 11-11 um, calling, which is like the twin flame kind of belief kind of thing, or soulmate, or something happy, like um, something that's uh, commitment material, something that you can build with, a home, or anything under the home, okay, but it's 11-11 calling, so it's a calling, okay, well, and then the overall energy is the tower <laughs> of what you had through there, so there you go, that's an awake, that's a that's great that is great so far so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Vimeo and then I'm going to um, clarify the rest of these cards and see what else it is that I do whatever it is that I decide to do I don't know yet until I get over there okay but we'll clarify a lot of these because you do have a lot of major arcanas a lot of major stuff really um, but it's a good energy um, so we're going to clarify stuff over there and um, it's £3 or £15 for the whole folder okay same as usual It'll be in the same folder. Okay, guys? If not, I will catch you another time. If so, I'll catch you on the flip side. All right, guys. Peace.